This is Dan Carr calling from Wicked University of Missouri as the Blue Tigers suffer their first conference loss of the season tonight against Indianapolis. In a night game in Indianapolis, the Blue Tigers fell by a final score of 41-17. to The Blue Tigers were led offensively by Kimbo Ferguson, who gained 127 yards on 20 carries to lead all rushers in the contest. Quarterback Henry Ogallo, meanwhile, completed 15 passes for 168 yards with a touchdown. It was a big night for Indianapolis, however, as the number 22 Greyhounds scored 31 points in the first half en route to a 41-17 victory. Hi, this is Ted Dixie from the Alabama and m University Football Radio Network. Bulldogs defeat the Tigers of Jackson State 21-16. Bulldogs leading rusher Trayvon Walters, 15 carries, 71 yards, two touchdowns. Leading passer, Keel Glass, 25 of 42, one interception, 244 yards. Leading receiver, Brian Jenkins Jr., number 10, 10 receptions, 112 yards. Jenkins also did get into the end zone on a rushing attempt of 18 yards on a reverse. Jackson State leading rusher, Jordan Johnson, 16 carries, 88 yards, two touchdowns. Derek Ponder, 8 of 19, one interception, 91 yards. Total X time, 3 hours, 25 minutes. Bulldogs possession time, 39 minutes. Jackson State, 21. Jackson State's total, 14 completions on 31 attempts, two interceptions. Fumbles, Bulldogs had three fumbles, lost one. Jackson State had one fumble and lost one. Bulldogs, two sacks for 11 yards. Jackson State, no sacks. Red zone chances, Bulldogs, three of four in the red zone, Jackson State, three of three. Third down conversions, Bulldogs, five of 17, Jackson State, one of 13. Fourth down conversions, Bulldogs, two of four, one including a 24-yard fourth down run by puncher Spencer Corey that set the Bulldogs up for a score. Jackson State, oh, for three on fourth down conversions. Thanks a lot, Ed, Dick, have a good day. The Grambling State University Tiger football team lost to Prairie View A&M by the score of 22-16. to During this game, the Tigers had a tough time trying to get Prairie View A&M as the Panthers led the entire game. Jalen Morton led the team in passing for the Panthers. He was 23 of 34 for one interception, 269 yards and three touchdowns. Leading the way rushing the football was Dewana Tucker for the Panthers, 19 carries, 72 yards. On the receiving end, the Prairie View A&M Panthers were led by Marcus Hardy, five catches for 76 yards and a touchdown, while Dewana Tucker had three catches for 89 yards and a touchdown. The story of this game, Prairie View A&M had four turnovers in the contest, but the Grambling Tigers could not capitalize. Leading the way for the Grambling Tigers in passing was Alden Clark, 16 for 30, 144 yards and an interception, while in Damian Brooks led the team in rushing seven carries, 53 yards, and Darrell Clark, four catches for 49 yards. Tigers now move to 1-1 one and one in conference play, 1-4 and four overall. 1-3 uh, and three overall, they get ready to play Oklahoma Panhandle State this Saturday. Reporting live from Dallas, Santoria Black with the Grammy Sports Radio Network. The birth of legends are storied in this conference. We must never forget our rich history. We now turn our gaze to the future. The new legends will emerge. New heroes to arise. The Southwestern Athletic Conference. Be our history.